Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect macaroons, the ideal tea time snack. I'm going to show you how to make macaroons and um, there are three parts to this first scene so it's going to involve me moving stuff around so bear with me. Um, I've got um, almond uh, flour which goes into um, a very large bowl with some icing sugar and I'll just give that a little bit of a mix because what we're going to do is make a paste um, and this paste is going to be folded into the um, Italian meringues um, which we're going to make in a sec as the second part. So uh, there's probably going to be about another half a minute of mixing. Right, there is our paste and I'm going to set that aside over there. We'll come back to that later. I'm just going to move a few things over because what we now have to do is make a syrup. In order to make a syrup, what I'm going to do is put some water in and some caster sugar. Just give it a good old mix. Now the important thing about this syrup is it has to be brought up to exactly 114 degrees. So we're going to use our thermometer. We're on about 109, 110. So in a moment what's going to happen is I've got the egg whites which I'm going to put into this machine. It's going to make one hell of a racket. Apologies for that. We're going to bring the egg whites up to a little bit of a, a froth and then we're going to start pouring the syrup in. Um, and we're going to whisk in here for about four minutes until we've got what's called an Italian meringue. that there, lovely when it stops. Um, I just want you to see the textures, so that's the paste and then over here is the Italian meringue mixture. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of meringue mixture and mix it in like that and it's quite difficult, quite tough, but then what's going to happen is I'm going to fold in the rest so that we've got the, the actual uh, macaroon case mixture and obviously the more you do it, um, the easier it gets. But it will start getting easier now and I'm going to just um, fold that in. So just literally folding it round. I'm going to get Carlos to give me a hand here. Um, all I'm going to do is I'm going to tip this mixture into, in it goes. And then what we're going to do is pipe that onto a tray There we go, thanks Carlos. So what we're going to do now is pipe that onto a tray, leave it to rest for a few minutes and then bake them off. What I'm doing is just piping quite a lot into prepared macaroon ring sheets. I'm not doing the whole thing because they will melt into shape and if you do, if you try and cover the entire ring, all that's going to happen is they're going to start linking up. But they will then uh, melt as if by magic, into one. And then we're going to stick them in the oven at 140 degrees for between 17 and 19 minutes. Simply for the buttercream, I've made a raspberry coulis. That's just raspberries. A bit of sugar goes in there. Some egg yolk. And then finally, I'm going to just add all this butter to the mixture. And then I'm going to put the whole lot in a piping bag. Um, I'm going to shove that in the um, fridge to cool down and then as you can see the uh, macaroons are, are baking off in the oven. Um, once those have cooled down we'll take them off the, uh, the baking mat, uh, pipe in the filling, uh, job done. So I've, I've just allowed that to cool down for a little bit and I'm going to pour that mixture 
into a piping bag. And then what will happen is you could put it in the fridge uh, just to cool down. Uh, and then obviously what you want is, is for all that butter that we put in there to kind of set so that we've got that filling um, which will go into the macaroons once they're finished cooking off. So we're going to take the macaroons out of the oven. What we should do is just let them rest for probably about two or three minutes before we take the shell casings out. Because if we take them off now, they'll just disintegrate. So I'm just going to take a lot of them off and then I'm going to fill them. So we're just going to cut the um, filling and then just dollop it in there like so. Hope you enjoyed the macaroon class. Regular viewers will know that if you leave a nice review on either Google or Facebook, your name gets entered into here. So Russell, Russell, Russell. Casio Lorenk, you uh, will get a pasta machine. I'd like some ideas for forthcoming videos for the autumn and winter. So please send those through and the best suggestions will get made and you will get a free pasta machine sent over to you. So thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you very soon.